calling out for justice after his beloved wife was gunned down in a road rage case that is horrifying America. We're going to start this half hour with the search for a suspect who shot and killed a Las Vegas mother of four. We are following the hunt for a suspected killer after a road rage case. Tammy Myers, a nurse and mother of four, was teaching their 15-year-old daughter to drive in a school parking lot. As Tammy was driving her daughter home, she got into what police are calling a near collision with another car with three men in it. Both cars pulled over, and Tammy's husband says the other driver got out of his car and came at her aggressively. She tried to get away. He pulled in front of her to stop her. She still got away. Tammy drove home, followed all the way by the other car. Cops say Tammy's son came out to help, and gunfire erupted. You could see a bullet hole in the wall. 44-year-old Tammy was hit in the head. She was taken off life support over the weekend and died. She came home, she was followed, and she was murdered. Police released this surveillance video of what they believe is the killer's car fleeing the Las Vegas neighborhood. Tammy's grieving husband, two sons, and a nephew spoke to Inside Edition about the tragedy. The teenage daughter learning to drive was too devastated to talk. She wants everybody to know she loved her mommy, and she wishes she could have her back. And she's not going to get her back. <laughs> Police also released this sketch of a suspect. Tammy's death is the latest in a wave of road rage incidents. Just last week, this shocking video was posted online. So what should you do if, like Tammy Myers, you're being followed after a road rage incident? It was not a good idea for her to drive home. It's one of the last places we want you to go. We want you to go to a well-lit area. I spoke to security expert Steve Cardian. Give them space. Make a, a forgiving little gesture without looking at them. Continue on going. If he persists, drive to an area like a convenience store, gas station, somewhere where you believe that there's going to be cameras.